Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Nilnar, and we're once again in Dragon Age, the Velgard. So, when we last left off, we uh, got the dagger and placed some items in our new little sleeping room, and now we need to meditate to the Dreadwolf. So let's, let's meditate and say hello. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. I am, after all, remembered as the god of lies, treachery, and rebellion. I'm not here to debate whether what you said was accurate. But to be clear, it was accurate. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algonan and Gelanane. Someone has to do something. I may not be the right person for this job, but uh, I'm the only one left. So your call to action is that any attempt is better than none? With the Veil Jumpers, I was in a dangerous part of the forest full of wild magic. My team got free, but not everyone did. There were a lot of people still trapped, including Varric. So you went in, against orders, and freed them? How'd you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that if someone has to make a call, I'll do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned. Until they release it. I don't understand. Elgernon and Gilanane were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate. And turned to the blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. The rest of the Blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the earth, and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. The Blight didn't escape with the gods? Elganan and Gelanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the Blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength? Correct. Yeah. How do we stop them? What would they need to do to free the Blight, and how do we stop them from doing it? They will need to pierce the Veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Follow us. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? When the Dalish Elves started the Veil Jumpers, we uncovered a lot about how terrible our gods were. I don't think the Elven people will bend a knee to blighted, murderous monsters. Agreed. Elganan and Gilanane care little for the Elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. 
tyrants and bullies, the cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algonan and Gilanain. Thank you. I'll go poke at the cruel and the corrupt, and we'll see what we find. The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. Shouldn't have done it then, buddy. Explain more of your actions instead of just uh, wiping them out. Okay. So now we can adjust our appearance with the wardrobe. But we're going to leave this as is. Oh, so we can add more decorations as we find things. That'll be cool. Okay, so now we just need to talk to Varric. I didn't finish this morning this way, so there might be some more stuff opened up. Hey, old man, get out of bed. Stop So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard? It's bad, Varric. If you had seen Demeta's crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? That first ill-fated Arlathan expedition. Not the recent one. Demons just kept coming for us. Dozens. Hundreds. But you didn't give up. You found a path out of that forest. Led us from the darkest depths back to safety. <laughs> Lost that magic map. Pissed off some historians, but... You've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? It doesn't matter how I feel about it. We can't stop the gods without what he knows. And there you go. You don't have to love him to deal with him. He also okay. asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Nev got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. Yep, that's all. We're done talking. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna Let's be go fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. 
But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. Okay. Make sure there's nothing else in here that we need to loot. <laughs> you can stop fussing over me. We'll see what the others are. So we need to check what nave. That's still sealed off. Our portals is out. And there's something back this way. Oh, we've got a I guess this chest got lost in the Fey and someone shepherded it to our doorstep. It's just me, or does armor look somewhat familiar? Familiar. It looks like something an old friend would wear. Harding. Ooh. Let's go take a look at this bad boy. I have to go to have to look and see maybe I have to do that one in the uh, other area she can level up a, a few times so Start working down that path. Okay. Our own skills can level up one. So this guy is advantage duration. This is enrage. Means I can go enrage quicker, which is pretty good. But it'll slowly get us into this other area. So that's what I think I want. Of course, we got the map. She's somewhere over there, and she's over there. Valerie is in there. Okay. Hmm. level up stuff but before I start leveling up I'm gonna keep it as is until I get some make sure I get all the right gear oh that's kind of cool oh we'll, we'll change the monument okay let's go over and talk to her Everybody's getting their little... Hey, Nev. There he is. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Ballara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin, their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Well, I'm sold. Now we charm the crows. Fingers crossed. The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. Time to make new friends. Yep. We'll see if it works. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathis. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority... Won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. 
They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the Empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. These people sound great. I mean, if they're anything like you. No one's as good as they seem. But they try. So, <laughs> we talked to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathis. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood, either. If Balara's ready for us. Yeah, should check how things are going. Let's see. The chest is gone, so we must leave it. Go back in here, but before I go talk to her, which we will, I want to go back in my room briefly. switch all that around because that's just an appearance mod isn't it that looks different That's not what we'll wear when we're inside the base, but... Okay, let's go down here and see what she has to say. Uh, almost... there. I just have to... Shit! Sorry! Can I... help? No! No, I got it. Mostly. Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us. Freedom of Ways. I wonder... If that is the Fade on the other side, won't it be dangerous, as the Fade often is? More dangerous than elven gods who wield the Blight as a weapon? Point taken. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alive. And it is not. Who are you? And how did you get here? The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey. Through there. I will wait. Hmm. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. We have no idea what or who they are. So let's be careful. We need to be ready for anything. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook. And then we can figure out what's going on. Uh, 
Hey. Let's get the crossroads. Let's go ahead and start doing that. And I'm going to keep these two as my party members for now. They're going to work together well. Might be reasons to swap out later, but... Hello again. Who are you? A caretaker. I go where I am needed, Dweller. Now, I am here. And where is here? The crossroads. That's <gasps> cool. Can you help us? I get the feeling this is no place to get lost. The Evanurus hunger for the crossroads. Their influence is spreading. Blight. Death. Madness. They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. Hmm. Come and go. Okay. So, on the crossroads, we will have to watch out for potential people coming. But Keep the ones I have. Oh, they didn't have a good day growing. Kind of looking around as we explore. Ooh, some blight. Blight, roots, and magical seals? What's through there? I'll have to find something to unlock that. I'm sure that'll come up through the storyline. I see something to loot down here. So let's go grab it. Some notes on the codex of the road. A lot of lore. Different paths. I was looking to see what else is here. We got another location being corrupted. So two sides are corrupted. Probably places that are under blight and we can't go to. So we'll go down this way and check her out. Here, this dock seems sturdy. Oh, hello. So you can ferry us to the other islands. Winds await, dweller. I'll take that as a yes. between one way of the travel that's for sure the spirits here were driven out refugees now from the gods minions I have summoned the guardians of the crossroads to protect them beware the Guardians repel all interlopers. So we're interlopers too? It looks sounds like it, so... Oh, before I go, I want to see, can I get up here? Nope. Had to check. You never know. You might be able to go over and talk and learn something. Oh, 
Can't get the potion, that's okay. The Fade Tear! That's where they're breaking through! God's in their Fade Tearing! Let's cut them off! Believe against Take him out. It's not going good here. Where are they at? Okay, that was not as good as I wanted it. So there is a potion back again. here. I'm gonna grab it because I need it. around here well, where it wants us to go but I don't want to go too far and trigger something but I wanted to look around a little bit the gods blight and blood magic has sealed the way only their champion may open it a champion it dwells on this island. Challenge the champion and claim its essence. This path will open to you. Okay. So we gotta go find a... a champion. And it looks like it's off that direction. Somehow we broke one seal, but we gotta find the champion for the other. But that's all the time we had. I know this is a lot more uh, story set up than it is action, but next episode we'll have some more action. So as like always, give me a like if you enjoyed this and give me a subscribe if you are new to the channel. And we will see you on the next one.